Welcome to the workbench. I'm Doug. Have you ever had trouble inserting the needles into your baby lock serger or any other serger in that matter? Well, I found myself that sometimes it might be a little bit easier to put them in together as a group rather than independently. So let me show you just how easy that is. So we first want to open the doors to get this out of the way. I also like if I'm going to be inserting in one of our five needle cover hem machines to detach the presser foot to get that out of our way. And then starting with the overlock, or if you have only an overlock machine, then just position your two needles into your fingers, making sure that the flat of those needles are positioned towards the back of the machine. So coming at an angle with both of those needles, position down into the stitch fingers, and then raise straight up into the needle clamp. A little wiggle jiggle front to back to ensure that they're seated all the way up into the needle clamp. That's why we have those windows. And then secure each screw. Once your overlock needles are inserted, then we can get to our cover hem needles. So it's the same principle, but with this, we now have three needles. So position all three needles so the flat or towards the back. And because your cover hem needles hang down a little bit lower than your overlock, it helps to lower your press foot holder. And then you want to guide the tips down into your needle plate hole or your stitch finger, like we did earlier, and then lift straight up, guiding them into the three holes. Making sure that all three are buried up to the casting and then tighten each screw. One, two, three. And if you notice, the tips are a little bit longer on the left side than they are on the right side. And this is purposely done so that you get that perfect stitch coming from your chain looper. And now for those of you that have our serger only models, it's a little bit easier. We still wanna begin by opening your doors. Raising your presser foot lever to detach your foot out of the way. That will give you a little bit of additional room. And then I'll lower my foot. And then like earlier, position the flats so that they're towards the back. And then tucking the needles down into the needle plate area and straight up into your needle bar again. And like we mentioned before, we wanna make sure that when looking in through the opening of the needle clamp, they see both needles are going all the way up. Your overlock needles are also staggered a little bit like we showed you before on your chain needles. In this case, the right needle hangs down a little bit lower than your left needle. That's within the specification of the machine. And hopefully with little practice, you yourself will be able to install the needles together, making it a little bit quicker and easier for you to get your surging started. And now that you know, get out and sew, <laughs> or in this case, surge.